using the FBO as my kitchen to pre-toast my avocado bread or toast and more importantly for their coffee. The current situation. I'm already on cup of coffee number two. It might be a long day. This is a very exciting day. I finally did it. I moved to Florida. Just kidding. I'm in a hotel, obviously. I don't have two beds in my new little condo, but seriously, shouldn't I move here by now? I mean, this is crazy. Even though I'm not announcing a move, today still was an exciting day. I think I finally perfected poaching an egg on a plane. So my technique is getting a bowl with a narrow bottom, filling the bottom with water, cracking the egg into the bowl, microwaving the bowl for one minute, checking the egg. If the egg is not cooked, then I do 15 second intervals until it is ready to go. When the egg is all set, I remove it with a slotted spoon, and voila, perfect airplane poached eggs. Our morning kind of got off to a crazy start. I showed you the video of the snow and the wind blowing uh, from the hangar. They closed the airport for a while, so we didn't load passengers, and then when we heard it was reopened again, we decided to load them in the hangar and just stay in there as long as possible. This way we wouldn't have to deal with de-icing and everything like that. So we finally got the passengers on, pushed the plane out. Obviously we were gonna have to de-ice no matter what. We weren't trying to avoid doing it completely. We were just trying to use less of the de-icing fluid. So passengers got on, we took our spot in line for the de-icing station, and then we took our spot in line for departure clearance. And two-ish hours later uh, than our scheduled departure time, we were on our way. So I'm pretty caffeinated right now. I have a lot of energy to burn because I just sat on that cold plane drinking hot coffee all morning long. So now I need to stop chatting. It's time to go to the gym. What else do I do when I start a layover? I should probably make friends here in Florida since I'm pretty much a resident at this point, but I will chat with you guys later. I'm back from spin. I am a disaster and I'm ready for a shower. Class was really good. I feel like I burnt off a lot of the caffeine and energy I was telling you about before I went and now I'm just exhausted. I also was up at four o'clock in the morning, so that could be why I'm exhausted too. I noticed that my hand was really killing me this time and I don't think I vlogged about it but I broke my hand last summer uh, and it was on an airplane so I feel like it's appropriate to talk about it but I broke my hand my last flight actually as a commercial flight attendant and I didn't know that was gonna be my last flight timing was just weird I had a lot of time off I looked into the corporate gig and basically made the transition long story short but ever since I broke my hand, my grip strength is just not what it used to be. So more than like feeling the intense workout or the muscles burning in my legs, I was like, holy S word, my hand really hurts. I guess there's a story for you. I'm gonna hop in the shower now. We're talking about eating dinner. I'm not very hungry. Who knows, maybe I'll feel better after I shower and get out of these gross clothes. But if we eat and we eat something amazing, I'll let you guys know. I crashed so hard last night after we got back from dinner. Um, I did end up going to dinner after showering. We just went to like an American bar kind of place because it was kind of late by the time that we got out and I got a bowl of soup and some poke tuna bowl thing. It was really good. Yeah, and then we came back here and I washed my face and I went to bed and I just woke up and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So I slept really good. I haven't slept that long or this late in a really long time. So that felt incredible. And I just ordered room service. It should be delivered soon. And then I will probably start my day. Although this bed is like crazy comfortable. I might just lay in bed all day too. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll find out. My food came. I got an acai bowl, which looks really good. And I like that they package all the fruit separate. I'm so picky when it comes to eating fruit, so I'll probably like dissect every berry 
and banana before I put it on top of the acai like mush that's in there. So I'm excited about eating that. And I've got my spoon for that. And then I got myself just a black cup of coffee. And a blueberry muffin. So it's not the healthiest breakfast, but that's just what sounded so good. And yes, I'm back in bed. This is the bed that I slept in last night. But look over here. There's a brand new bed that I can get into. So now I have an eating bed and a sleeping bed. And that makes me probably the most happy that anything in a hotel could make a person. Yes, I'm in bed, but I did go out. We had kind of an action-packed day. We went and got empanadas for lunch. Um, one of the pilots saw an episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives and remembered the name of the restaurant. So we went and had empanadas, which were fabulous. And then from there, we went to the beach because we had to walk off all of the fried calories that we ate. When we were driving from lunch to the beach, I ordered catering for delivery for tomorrow for our flight. So that was all taken care of. That's all the work I did today, which was nice. Our flight is pretty full and obviously I'm in a hotel. I'm not able to do any cooking. So we decided to go the catering route for the flight back home. I use these caterers almost every time I'm in Florida. I think they're great. I'm excited to eat the food that they deliver tomorrow. So right now the pilots are in the gym, in the hotel. I am in bed, as you can tell, like I said, uh, resting a little bit. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then we're gonna grab something to eat for dinner. And then that's my full layover day in Florida. I hate these kind of elevators. Car if. It's waiting for me, no other buttons to push. I hate these elevators. What if I change my mind? There's no buttons. Oh, one. No buttons. Okay. I already told you that we went to the beach earlier, and I didn't tell you the whole beach story because if you weren't there, it just, it would be like too hard to believe what we saw. And I shared it on Twitter and I like texted everyone I knew because it was just the most ridiculous thing. But I'm only sharing this because dinner was so weird that I feel like the whole vibe of the day was weird. Not, maybe like not even the vibe, just like the people in Florida today are fucking weird. Okay, so when we were at the beach, it was like yoga, Instagram, influencers, literally everywhere they were just doing like their tree pose and their handstands and whatever so maybe we were just being a little too judgy but we were like kind of laughing at that whole thing okay so sitting around a little bit longer and we turn around and there's like a full-blown photo shoot with like camera equipment something going on behind us and I joked that it was Ricky Martin because that's who it looked like but it wasn't so anyways that was going on and yes, the beach was very beautiful. It's a perfect scenic backdrop. But here is where things get weird. 
So one of my pilots was like, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. So naturally I turn around and here come two adults and two children in gorilla suits walking on the beach. What? Why is that necessary? We are in Florida. You're in a gorilla suit and gorillas do not belong on the beach. So naturally we are staring at these people trying to figure out like what the hell is going on and who I'm assuming is the dad takes the gorilla mask off and starts like filming just weird stuff happening. So one of the girls, the young girls, kept her gorilla mask on, ran to the other side of the beach, perched herself up on some rocks and sat like a gorilla completely by herself like not acknowledging anyone walking by then the mom gorilla and the the daughter gorilla daughter number two gorilla start interacting in the weirdest way like and this is why i wasn't even going to tell the story because it's so out there and ridiculous and like why would this even happen but the mom gorilla and the daughter gorilla start like doing weird gymnastics and then the daughter gorilla like young dominique Mucciano, starts doing like back handsprings and headstands and the mom is dancing in the background full-blown gorilla gear then the daughter gorilla perched up on the rocks runs to the beach then to the parking lot and comes back and guess what she comes back with a freaking cello okay so now there's a daughter gorilla playing the cello and the mom gorilla is holding Dominique Mucciano, gorilla, gymnast gorilla, we can call her because that's unfair to Dominique. She was my favorite Olympic athlete. And they're just like embracing and being filmed by the dad. Like what in the hell is happening? And I understand you can be artsy and whatever, like let your children embrace their creativity. But this was so weird and it like, it kind of angered us all that it was happening. And I know that sounds ridiculous and I probably shouldn't even be sharing this because now I'm probably gonna be like criticized for being too judgy or like saying bad things about a family outing or children or whatever, but it was just freaking weird, okay? It was not natural. I'm not apologizing. So we leave Old McDonald's Beach. I come here, talk to you guys a little bit, like everything was normal and we go to dinner and it took like 15 minutes to even be acknowledged. And then we just asked for sparkling water and uh, I ordered a bowl of soup as an appetizer and like 20 minutes went by and nothing happened. And I kind of jokingly asked the pilots like if our waiter was on cocaine because he was so fidgety and like really jumpy and like made us uncomfortable. So he didn't come back and the, I guess restaurant manager sent over a different guy and this guy looked like Harry Potter, but with like, only bangs and like no other hair going on and he was equally as on drugs as the other guy like and that's i'm not being like judgy something was up with these dudes so we kind of questioned if we even wanted to eat at this restaurant but by that point we were like 30 minutes invested into it so we stayed but the food was good but it was just like we were surrounded by the weirdest people today and i don't know what's happening it's not a full moon is mercury in retrograde what does that mean something's up though florida you are weird. My interaction with people today is done. I've already called Johnny. I've said goodnight to him. It's still pretty early, but I'm I'm done with my phone. I'm done with it all. I wanna go to bed and I wanna wake up and I want my passengers to be normal and the airport employees to be normal. I don't wanna see any gorillas. I don't wanna hear the cello and I don't wanna think about weird restaurant employees again. So thank you for the entertainment today, Florida but tone it down a notch next time, could you? Good morning, it's time for me to go home. I just packed up the hotel room and ordered myself um, a little bit of room service to go. I did the same thing I did yesterday. I got myself an acai bowl and a blueberry muffin and a cup of black coffee just because it was delicious. So yesterday, I think I mentioned that I ordered catering. If I did not mention it, I ordered catering. So it's gonna be delivered to the airport. Actually, I just got a confirmation text. It was just delivered to the airport. So we are uh, about like 25-ish minutes away. So we'll be there after not too long. For those of you wondering about food safety, the airport puts the food in the refrigerator for us. So it doesn't go bad and I don't poison my passengers. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching, hearing all of my crazy stories about all the crazy people here in Florida. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, post them below and we'll chat soon. Thanks again for watching guys.